UT Martin coming off a 3-1 loss to the OVC leader Lindenwood right now. 14-7 overall and 8-1 in conference play are the Lions. Skyhawks right now 3-13 overall, 1-6 in OVC play. Southern Indiana 8-13 and 3-6 and and in conference play. And the Screaming Eagles in their last 10, 4 and 6, but their last 5, just 1 and 4. However, 4 and 4 on the road, and it's very tough to win in this conference. On the road, that is. And wait for both teams to settle in. Just moments away from our opening serve. It's going to be Southern Indiana serving first with Ashby Willis, six foot sophomore out of Mount Carmel, Illinois. Willis, an outside hitter for Southern Indiana. And we're underway here at Skyhawk Fieldhouse. Watts receive will go over the net and then set up into the middle for the opening kill to Paris Downing. Definitely going to see a lot of her today in that quick one, that quick three right there. Will is serving again. This one's set for Addie Vaughn off the block and the pancake attempt unsuccessful, tied up at one. Kristen Phillips will immediately be substituted in for Addie Vaughn and Dylan Mott serving. Set up from Soborowski, now Hayslip will set it up for Gladson. Southern Indiana, great play from them to get that one over the net. Now Gladson again. Soborowski the dig. Put him on the far side, blocked by Phillips and Gladson. UT Martin starting off with a little bit of an overpass in that last point, but definitely picking up the heat. So Borowski sits into the middle again, Paris Downing. Both of her kills to the middle of the floor and nobody home for UT Martin. She is getting incredible height there on that ball in the middle and just towering over this UT Martin block to really hit that center of the court. Serve coming from Kira Moore. Kept up, but not for too long. UT Martin will earn the point and the lead three to two. Katie Cruz serving for UT Martin. Leader in assist for the Skyhawks with 418. Soborowski back set and tossed down from Jasmine Green. Great set there from Soborowski. She looks like she's going to that outside and tricks the UT Martin block to kind of follow her that way and has a huge push backwards giving her that one-on-one -on -one out there. Kerrigan Fair serving for USI. Cruz up for Phillips and will go out. Fair serving again. Freshman from Fairbury, Illinois. Valley off the fingertips of the block. Now Soborowski setting up and will get the assist on the Bianca Anderson kill. Very fluent plays coming from Southern Indiana. The way their front row 
is moving around each other. Extremely impressive, and it's definitely showing with the score. Surratt had initially, and then miscommunication, but still able to get it over the net, and that ball is going to get out right on the line and a point for Southern Indiana. Great accuracy shown from the Screaming Eagles. Cruz in the middle, Surratt lofted it over. Put him in the air by Kira Moore, blocked by Phillipson Valley. Had to get tossed over by Soborowski. Surratt able to target that back line. The diving attempt made by Ashby Willis couldn't get there in time. It's now 6 4. Great swing there by Surratt. She was kind of coming down there, but really made sure to keep the ball in front of her and high and find that thumb up down the line. Southern Indiana coming into this match on a four match losing streak. Got swept by Western Illinois over the weekend. I want to shake that off with a set victory here tonight. Phillips, sort of a layup on that. Now Soborowski set it to the far side to Coleman, kept in by UT Martin, and they are able to get it over, but that will go out. Good awareness by Kerrigan Fair to let that one fall. Great plays early on by Dylan Mott. She had that dig right there, crossing in front of her teammate and then running towards the bench, really trying to get this UT Martin team alive. It's Abby Weber's turn to serve for USI. Valley and blocked up front. Strong block made by Ashby Willis and also with her Bianca Anderson. Mott has to get low for that one. Now Bryant elevates, gets it off the block and out of play, point UT Martin. That's a really risky choice there by Kayla Bryant. I mean, her team swinging into the block, getting blocked kind of straight down there, but then she's confident. Phillips serves, goes straight to the middle, up in the air for Weber. And then Valley, a little too much on that one. Out of play, 9-5, Eagles. Layla Gonzalez serving, 5'4 freshman from Muncie, Indiana. Bryant, what a great vertical from Kayla Bryant and scores the kill for the Skyhawks. If you were watching with us this past weekend, UT Martin versus Lindenwood, UT Martin had a lot of errors, especially hitting and serving errors. But so far through this game, they've kept it down to only three on their 14 attempts. Definitely a gameplay move for them, and it's definitely working out. And a hay slip serving for the Skyhawks out of Gates, Tennessee. Soborowski, back set. Great dig by Hayslip. Then it cross court from Bryant. Soborowski now goes over to the opposite side, and Addie Vaughn has the initial touch on the block and then rows back up to get the kill. She almost set herself there. Right off of her hand, she jumps right back up. Huge athletic play. And a slip that'll roll right off the tape and onto UT Martin's side. So far, three attacking errors on UT Martin, one on Southern Indiana. Addie Vaughn. And that one took an awkward bounce off the block. And Kira Moore couldn't get to it in time. 10-8. Kayla Bryant. Great serve that had to get sent up into the rafters for Southern Indiana can, to control it. Gladson hammers one down, dug out by Soborowski. Put over now to Willis, taken in by the Skyhawks. On to Surratt, and a strong swing from the OVC Freshman of the Week, 
And she comes up with another point. Super smart volleyball there. Both teams putting behind a lot of power, followed by some really great digs. And Surratt comes in with that little roll shot into the block, score the point. Bryant just over. And was more ready to come up to get it for Southern Indiana. And now here she sets, blocked by Gladson. Coming back over and will fall down. Point UT Martin. Gladson though was ready right at the net. It is now tied up at 10. Bryant. Willis. A slip right over to Surratt. UT Martin leads 11-10 after Kylie Surratt adds yet another kill to her season. Soborowski, that time down and can't get another kill. Now Bryant flies in, blocked, got it back over. Soborowski, right back to Downing, it'll go out. 12-10 UT Martin, a 5-0 scoring run. 12-10 UT Martin on a 5-0 scoring run against Southern Indiana here at Skyhawk Fieldhouse. Davis Gregory here with Bailey Kearns, Tuesday night OVC volleyball action. UT Martin won the first matchup this season in five sets. Was a monumental win for UT Martin, getting head coach Jacqueline Wilson to the number one spot on UT Martin's Division I all-time wins list. Another point added to UT Martin's total, make it a 6-0 run as that ball went out on the near side. Bryant serving yet again for the Skyhawks. And another one appeared to have gone out, and it did. Dylan Mott with a bit of a matrix act to get out of the way of that one. It's 14-10, UT Martin. Bryant, that one will go out. Try to put it on that near side line. Instead, it'll go out of play, 14-11. And Southern Indiana has, for the moment, put a halt to the UT Martin run. But seven straight points earned by the Skyhawks. And Bryant comes back, put too much on that swing. Two points set now here in their first set of the night. Hey, slip. Gladson got it off the block. 15 12. UT Martin finding a lot of success in that block. Southern Indiana started off with a block or two for their team, but not able to finish the press. Mott, a good serve, push Coleman back. That one's still down low, UT Martin though. Unable to get to it in time. 15-13, Southern Indiana. Back in serving is Kira Moore. A slip, Surratt. Curved one over. Mott the dig. Coming back to Kylie Surratt. Blocked, rolling back. Bryant got a hand on it. It'll go out of play. Wanted to make the diving effort. It's now 15-14. Southern Indiana down by one. A slip right up front to Phillips, and that was a big time swing from Kristen Phillips. Handled well, though, by Southern Indiana. It comes back. Surratt, that one will be too much to handle. 16 14. Great switch there. That outside Kylie Surratt coming in for that middle ball. She pushes Kristen Phillips out for the three, and a huge set there from Hannah Hayslip putting that play together. 
And Hayslip will take a break. Katie Cruz in. So Borowski up. Good dig from Cruz, but that one's going to go out of play. Unless Dylan Mott wanted to go into the stands, a la Derek Jeter. Going to be a point Southern Indiana. 16-15. Kerrigan Fair. Cruz, right to Surratt, up in the rafters. Hit the AC unit and will go down. 17-15. The balls that are hitting up in the rafters are just so hard to track. I mean, there's so many bars and possibilities up there that we have no idea where it's going. Sort of the Skyhawk Fieldhouse rules. If one goes up in the rafters, you got to be ready to read it. That's an excellent job, though, by Southern Indiana, getting that one off the block and got it out of bounds on UT Martin's side, 17-16. Weber serving. Cruz up top to Phillips and block. Bianca Anderson, it was a one-on-one -on -one battle and Anderson wins it. Cruz on to Valley and that'll be a point to the Screaming Eagles. And a timeout taken by UT Martin now. Southern Indiana with the lead right back in their hands, 18-17 in this first set. It's been back and forth, Bailey. Yeah, 100%. Both teams putting out really good swings. But the digging has been the really impressive part. Uh, Southern Indiana with 12 digs, UT Martin with 11. I can't tell if both teams are just not finding the holes on the other side, or if those defenses are doing such a good job at reading and filling in those holes so where there looks like there's almost no place for anybody to hit. I mean, USI has been going up and hitting the ball straight down. That's like the only way that they have been able to really score a lot of their points and tooling the block from UT Martin. They're doing a lot of that. And Kylie Surratt, you know, using those roll shots and those tiny, tiny spots that she has in the back corner to really score. And Surratt leads UT Martin in kills. We talked about a couple times, the reigning OVC freshman of the week. Had 20 kills against OVC leading Lindenwood on Saturday. Became the first UT Martin freshman to reach the 20 kill plateau since Emily Keaton did that in 2011. Also hit a team high 375. And only five errors in 40 swings for the Maryland Heights Missouri native. Also had a team best four blocks at the net. And her game is starting to become very well rounded just as a freshman. She's done a great job at improving after every single match. Right, and I mean, how many players have a quadruple best in just one match or one weekend? I mean, extremely impressive. Almost comes through again, but Kayla Bryant able to jump on the opportunity. Very well done by her. Southern Indiana left with nobody on the back side and Bryant puts it where no one was to get the point tied up at 18. So Borowski on the far side and that will go to UT Martin. And Kayla Paulino coming in for the Skyhawks. You see some of the balloons and ribbons around. This is the breast cancer awareness game for UT Martin. Paulino gets the ace. Michaela Paulino has UT Martin back in front. Now by two, 20 to 18. Timeout taken by the Screaming Eagles. And for those that have watched UT Martin volleyball in the past 
couple of years. You know, Michaela's older sister, Haley Paulino, champion in indoor and also in beach. No, she's proud of that serve right there from her little sister. Oh, 100%. And when one of those defensive players kind of come in just to serve, we call that a serving specialist. And that's definitely what she just showed coming in straight off of the bench and earning that point right away for her team and forcing a timeout. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. 3-0 scoring run for the Skyhawks, 20-18, to UT Martin. Southern Indiana tied on the kills leaderboard for them. Paris Downing and Leah Coleman tied at three on the team. Downing hitting 286, Coleman 333. Coleman also with a dig in this first set. And Paulino serving again. Got it off the net, Soborowski near side, and that'll go off Surratt and out of play. Bianca Anderson makes it a one-point set, 20 to 19. Paulino out, Phillips is coming back in and then will be checked out for Dylan Mott. And Layla Gonzalez serving again. Cruz. Into the middle, Vaughn kept alive. Headed towards the back, Bryant up front. Cruz got it over. Soborowski now on the downing, and it's blocked by Bryant and Vaughn. That's their third little running play there, Ma and Bryant, both of them kind of taking that first ball. And, and Bryant flying in, dug out by Kira Moore. Cruz. Back on to Kayla Bryant, point UT Martin. Great swing there from Kayla Bryant and just the speed. I mean, she is zipping around the court and still has enough energy to do that hard approach in and get up really high and tool those high hands. Phillip serves with set number two tied up at two. Almost a heck of a play from Southern Indiana, and it will be completed by the Screaming Eagles. Substitution for USI and for UT Martin. Dylan Mott coming in and serving for Southern Indiana will be Abby Weber. Cruz. On the Addy Vaughn, now Soborowski. Coming over to the near side, blocked by Valley and Addy Vaughn. The swing came in from Ashby Willis. And a slip serving for the Skyhawks. A slip a red shirt junior. That was Ashby Willis getting it over now. Southern Indiana thought that one was going to be out of play. Instead, in for UT Martin. Hey, so that one will hit the bottom of the tape on that top part. 4-4 four, four now. Layla Gonzalez over. Hayslip right in the heart of the floor. Kayla Bryant coming in Ashby. Hayslip, a great set for Caleb Bryant, Southern Indiana, though, matched it with good defense. Into the middle, Vaughn kept up by Dylan Mott. Battle right at the net front. UT Martin will win it. 
Great plays from both sides, defensively and at the net. MVP play there for Kayla Bryant. Like I said earlier, I mean, she is just all over the court. She is zipping around and nothing is touching the floor. And now serving for UT Martin is Kayla Bryant. It's Jeffrey O'Coin, though, head coach for Southern Indiana, having a chat with our official on the far side. Not sure if I saw anything on that last play, but it looks like they got it figured out. There's not going to be any challenge or deliberation. And no review, UT Martin five, Southern Indiana four. Hey, slip, Surratt, with the bottom palm of her hand. And Southern Indiana, Causing a lot of movement there on the UT Martin side. Bodies hitting the floor as well as the ball. Tied up at five here. UT Martin still running that rotational defense. Dylan Mock getting to see that center of the floor and really take charge of the defense in the back. Ball comes right to Hayslip who gets it to Maddie Gladson. A cross court hit. And it's 6 5 UT Martin. Her third for the night, and she's hitting 500 with zero errors. Very impressive run there for the lefty. Mott serves. And it'll be an ace for Dylan Mott. Senior from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Has got it 7-5, UC Martin. That one will be short. 7-6. That will fall down. Got too much on it over the head of Hayslip and then dunked down on for Southern Indiana at 7-7. Out of play. First service error for Southern Indiana. Katie Cruz will serve for the Skyhawks. So Borowski, dig by Katie Cruz after the hit from Jasmine Green, and then Green will come up with a block also on the play, Paris Downing. Southern Indiana being very dominant at the net. Four blocks for this match so far. Eight to eight. Neither team can gain separation at the start of this second set. Southern Indiana will now take the lead nine to eight. Kira Moore, the libero for the Screaming Eagles serves. And Valley, that'll go, look like off the head of Bianca Anderson, nine, nine. So Borowski with the back set. Surratt coming in. Looked like that ball getting hit off the bottom part of her hand and just floated into the other side and was short enough where no Southern Indiana player could have a shot at it. Southern Indiana getting so many like close digs. Like they are right there, but it's just landing like a little bit in front of them. Ace for Kylie Surratt right after she gets the kill, 
A big air-driven set so far. Been about 19 points and eight of those being airs, but UT Martin taking the last three points to really separate and start earning some points. Flying from the near side, Leah Coleman. UT Martin will now take a crack at it. Point awarded to Southern Indiana. Cruz to Kayla Bryant. Now Coleman. Cruz up to Phillips. Soborowski got it in. Now Cruz coming back over to Kayla Bryant and then floats it down. Great spot there by Kayla Bryant. And again, I mean, both teams are just swinging with so much power, but this defensive game against Southern Indiana and UT Martin. That's what's really make or breaking this game right now. Both teams just getting phenomenal touches and keeping everything up. 12 to 10, and any time a team has gotten space like this, it's been closed up by the opposing group. UT Martin leads by two. And Phillips, too much. Twelve eleven UT Martin. Abby Weber, Abby Weber to serve. Kayla Bryant, a vicious kill there. Huge set and a huge swing. And not to mention Addie Vaughn coming in so strong in the middle, really taking that middle blocker with her, giving Kayla Bryant that huge seam. And basically a one-on-one -on -one there for her to have free reign. And a hay slip. Mott. Good dig, but that one hit the basketball goal right up in the middle. Point to the Screaming Eagles. Hayslip, Vaughn, good block from Southern Indiana. Now Bryant puts spin on it. Soborowski on to Downing. Mott popping it up. Bryant coming in again. Soborowski near side. Willis. Ashby Willis has tied it up at 13 all in the second set. Gladson, that'll be a kill for Maddie Gladson. Huge As swing there from her. It's so hard for that lefty to be hitting there on the outside and kind of catching the ball before it comes across her shoulder. But she does a great job of finding that line and not swinging a little bit too much to the left to cause it to go out. Just tightrope that ball down the line, 14-13. Surratt. Now back Hannah Hayslip. Gladson blocked. Good recovery though. Soborowski. Wow. And that's blocked by Gladson. What a play there from Maddie Gladson on both sides of the net there. 15 13, and we take a break here. Alley. Twenty seventeen UT Martin, Kylie Surratt serving. Cruz the dig. 
Southern Indiana wanted the heart of that UT Martin defense again. Great pancake coming from Kiera Moore. Cruz sets it up, Bryant, now a dig by Moore. Cruz, Bryant, off the block. 21-17, Kayla Bryant, nine kills. Super successful spot there for UT Martin. I think that's probably like their fifth kill there right to that spot, right over the block on the outside. Surratt and Bryant both taking advantage of it there. Timeout taken by Southern Indiana. We look at the leaderboard. Now K Kayla Bryant and Kylie Surratt tied at the top with nine kills, a match best there. And assist leaders Carly Soborowski, 18. Addie Vaughn with four blocks for UT Martin. Kayla Bryant, the points leader, with 10 and a half. Dylan Mott leads and digs with 11. Kylie Surratt with 23 total attacks. Maddie Gladson hitting 600 right now for UT Martin. And Bianca Anderson also hitting 600 in this match. Are doing it for the Screaming Eagles. 21 17 in set two. UT Martin leads this one during the Southern Indiana timeout. And Bailey, there's a clear strategy from Southern Indiana. So much movement on the floor. They want to get that middle of the floor wide open to be able to swing down on that one and get easy points. Yeah, 100%. And they're doing a great job of moving the ball around. I mean, they're top three players for kills, each in the double digits for attack, 17, 12, and 13. But UT Martin really relying on their outside. Surratt with 23 attempts to Bryant's 20. And then Maddie Gladson and Addie Vaughn down after them with only 10. And that's about their front row. Great set from Southern Indiana. UT Martin Phillips to go off the antenna. Point awarded to Southern Indiana, 21-18. Kerrigan Fair serves for the Screaming Eagles. Volleyball is such a big game for a lot of heirs. I mean, that's what really drives the whole game. But this match right here has been so air driven. There is 16 airs for both sides just combined, 16 airs for this set alone. Soborowski went up to Bianca Anderson and that one hit out of play. And just as you talk about attacking airs, Bailey, another one pops up. 22-18, Paulino coming in. This has really just been who can make the least amount of airs and that is because of the defense. I mean, when the ball is kept in, the defenses are keeping it up. So it's really relying on those hitters to be hitting that line and kind of pushing boundaries and trying to move, you know, just around the block to try to get those slivers of the court that are open. Paulino the dig coming into the middle, Surratt. And that one out of play. 22-19. Abby Weber serving for Southern Indiana. That one looked like it rolled off Kayla Bryant's face. Surratt calls for it. Soborowski dug out by Surratt, but it'll go out. Beautiful swing there from Anderson. She runs that slide so well. And the set, even so fast, and she's able to keep up with it and keep it in front of her and keep it high. Timeout by UT Martin, 22-20. Southern Indiana creeping closer to the Skyhawks in the second set. They got Bianca Anderson, Leah Coleman, and Paris Downing, all the top of the list for Southern Indiana in kills. And digs for Southern Indiana, Kira Moore, 11. Carly Soborowski with nine digs and 19 assists, a dig shy from a double-double. Kayla Bryant needing one more kill and two digs for a double-double. And Kylie Surratt, nine kills, three digs, an ace and one assist. 
Dylan Mott, 12 digs. There's a shot of Chancellor Yancey Freeman in attendance in this one. I feel underdressed now. <laughs> I think that's his job, though. That is He'll true. always look spiffy. Yes. Always got to be the best dressed man in the arena. Of course. I pride to say that I do not take that title. <laughs> and neither do I. 22-20 <laughs> in set two. Chancellor Freeman would like the Skyhawks to close this one out, but Southern Indiana, they've got other plans in mind right now. They've kept this one close in set two, but haven't gotten over the hump. Valley, dug out by Weber. Bryant down on the floor to get the dig. Cruz. And that is a smart play there by Katie Cruz to get the point, 23-20, just with her left hand, got it over. Exceptional drive, keeping her feet on the floor as she is in the back row. You know, if she takes even a little bit of a hop and reaches over the net, she could have gotten called for a back row attack. But she's just tall enough and reaches up really high to stay on the court. That's a great play. Hannah Hazel will serve UT Morton 23, Southern Indiana 20. Hayslip, Gladson blocked, still in, Surratt kept it up, and then it'll go over. UT Martin super unlucky with their free balls tonight. We've seen a lot of running plays and girls just getting the slightest bit of hand on it to keep it up, but as they send it over, they haven't been able to keep it in. Hayslip on to Addie Vaughn, 24-21. Set point for UT Martin. Already leading 1-0 in sets. Can go up 2-0 if they get this point right here. Bryant on the serve. Soborowski coming over. Dig from Dylan Mott. Vaughn could play from Weber. Getting back to that corner. Hayslip. Addy Vaughn off of Southern Indiana. And that will be a second straight set win for UT Martin. Getting the win in that set, 25-21, and now leading to nothing as they head to the locker room, and we'll take a break. Those not really counting as, you know, those hitting attempts, they are only at 71. UT Martin, 90 attempts, but like we kind of said before, they are relying on their two really hot outside hitters, Kayla Bryant and Kylie Surratt, but Southern Indiana, you know, led by Soborowski, she's spreading that ball out, kind of giving everybody their fair shot, everybody has basically the same attempts and really close in kills. Set number three, Southern Indiana wanting to force the fourth set. UT Martin want to get a sweep in this one. Would be their first sweep since September 6th against Arkansas Pine Bluff. That was the home opener. Southern Indiana they have lost. Lost in a sweep against Western Illinois on Saturday and then also a sweep to the Leathernecks on Friday. Trying to break that streak and get one here in Martin, Tennessee. They'll serve to start this third set with Ashby Willis. Vaughn, good dig by Kiera Moore. Now Mott will try to one-up her with that one. Moore on the far side off of UT Martin's block at a point for Southern Indiana. Sir, we'll go into the net. Phillipson for Addie Vaughn. And Dylan Mott on the serve. Soborowski 
on the far side dig from Kayla Bryant, but it'll go into the net. Leah Coleman with a hard swing. Yeah, great read there by Kayla Bryant, but she's not able to you know, keep full control over it and it hits that antenna. Moore. Said there by Hayslip, blocked by Southern Indiana. And Kylie Surratt, the kill. Got away from Ashby Willis on the back line. Kylie Surratt has just been in a rolling game today. She has been putting some real power behind the ball, but it's been getting dug. So, you know, she goes into her little tool bag and brings out those roll shots. And she has been very dominant there, kind of just chipping away and picking apart this Southern Indiana team. Two to two. Katie Cruz, the Appalachian State transfer serves. Off the tape. Surratt, that'll go out. Barely missed out on the corner. Kerrigan Fair serving for the Screaming Eagles. Hitting 173 in this match. Only two service errors have yet to get an ace. Almost got it on that one. It'll be hit over and go out of play. Cruz on to Kylie Surratt, got it off the block. UT Martin always with a fairly strong, you know, serve receive, but this third set, it's been a little wonky, but right on that last ball, they put up a really great ball and able to give Kylie Surratt you know, a little room to make it work. Soborowski to Coleman. Dig by Surratt. Going out. Surratt jumped out of the way of the Coleman hit. It's tied up at four. Back set off of Kayla Bryant. The swing from Bianca Anderson. Block made up of Phillips and Bryant. And then Anderson targeting the near side. She has been on that slide all night, and UT Martin has not had an answer for her. She runs that so quick and just extremely athletic as the ball's moving so fast, and she makes that jump forward and keeps the ball in. Cruz on to Jenna Valley and blocked by Bianca Anderson. Abby Weber, the senior, has the jump serve. Bryant. Hit right on the line. Bryant again. Phillips at the net. Tossed over by Valley. Comes to the near side. Bryant in a full split to get the dig. Southern Indiana will still get the point, though. My goodness. That hurt me to watch. I'm, I'm, not I, I'm like, yeah, no, I completely agree, Bailey. That's. She looks fine, though, so more power to her. I mean, she got the ball up. It was a great dig. What a play. Yeah. I mean, despite not getting the point, and that is a great play, but we'll make up for it with a, dig, with a kill, rather. One of the more acrobatic digs you'll ever see, and then. Gets the kill off the block. <laughs> Bryant coming back for that one. Up front and a great hit by Bianca Anderson right before the line. 8-5. Southern Indiana doing a great job. I mean, they are just drilling that back line, and 
there, I would say probably about 75% out of 100 shots, you know, are landing in. They are making a few errors there, but that is where they're getting the majority of their kills. Cruz, Brian elevating, put up front. Whistle blows, point to Southern Indiana as UT Martin on the net. And timeout taken by UT Martin, nine to five, Southern Indiana. We'll take a break on ESPN Plus. Nine to five and set three. Bailey timeout called by Coach Wilson, her team. Down by four at the start of this third set. What do you think happened in that timeout huddle? Yeah, well, I kind of said it a little bit at the beginning. I mean, they are very serve-receive dominant, and we are just not really seeing that in this third set. I mean, even that ball there, straight to the center of the court, Katie Cruz forced to do a little pass set, and then to the middle, but Addie Vaughn makes it work. But yeah, just their serve-receive, you know, they're usually, you know, three pass, three pass. I mean, that's led by Dylan Ma, and she is just a great libero serve-receive passer, but they're trying to get back into the groove of things. Hopefully not letting up in this third set. Hey, slip. Couldn't get it on the near side. It'll go out. 10-6, Southern Indiana. Carly Soborowski serves out of Indianapolis, Indiana from Franklin Central High School. Vaughn had it blocked. Paris Downing. Saved by the call there, out of rotation for UT Martin. Not exactly sure where, but usually it has something to do with the setter kind of moving a little early or people overlapping in serve receive. And Coach Wilson gets the explanation. Twelve six. Soborowski again. Vaughn. Downing. Blocked by Gladson and Vaughn. Now they come back off of Hayslip and that one way down into the back of the gym. Jasmine Green, lots of force behind that one. Southern Indiana taking over in this third set on a 4-0 run. Bryant, gonna try to sell things down for UT Martin with that kill. Hey, slip, Surratt. Close ball, blocked by Vaughn, kept up though. Green, got it down on the line. Mott tried to make the diving attempt. Super smart play there and an even better set from Soborowski. She's moving towards that outside. And that UT Martin block kind of following her over there for the easy set, but she's able to chuck that ball out there to Green for a great ball. And Soborowski already with a double-double. 25 assists and 11 digs. Net call there from Southern Indiana, so that'll be a point for the Skyhawks. Now 14 to eight. And blocked up front, Maddie Gladson and Kristen Phillips. Maddie Gladson has just been on fire today. If you're looking at the stats, you know, you can't really tell, but every single point that she has has brought so much momentum and energy to this UT Martin team. Mott. Soborowski. Out of play. Leah Coleman was targeting the line on the far side. 14 to 10. 
Caleb Bryan in a double-double for the Skyhawks. 11 kills, 11 digs. Also a block and an ace, hitting 310. Green. Mott digs. Surratt. Diving play made by Coleman. Into the middle. That was Willis. Comes over. Gladson the kill. The lefty. 14-11 and a 4-0 run by UT Martin. We just saw Southern Indiana come off their 4-0 run. I mean, it is just back and forth, back and forth, really, with these teams. The only difference here is Southern Indiana, you know, starting out with their run really puts them ahead here. And even though UT Martin's trying to take a little bit of that back and kind of chip away, Southern Indiana is able to stay on top. Southern Indiana led in this set 14 to seven. UT Martin, a game of runs it is, and the Skyhawks have come back in this one trail by just three. Take a look at our team comparison. UT Martin, 41 kills to Southern Indiana's 30. Attacking airs, Skyhawks with 17, Screaming Eagles 14. UT Martin hitting 211, Southern Indiana 174. And service airs, UT Martin eight, Southern Indiana two, aces, Skyhawks four, Eagles one in digs. It's Eagles 49, Skyhawks 44. At block, Southern Indiana eight, UT Martin with seven. Caleb Bryan, a double-double for UT Martin. 16-15. Beautiful ball right there. We saw last weekend she was having so much success in the back court, but now she's moved that up to the front court and dominating through that middle, her in the middle making that switch there. So she's got that one-on-one -on -one and just a heavy drive right to the line. And we've got some moisture on the floor needing to get cleaned up. 16-15. UT Martin it is a 8-1 scoring run. Katie Cruz serves for UT Martin. Soborowski, big time hit there. Jasmine Green, too hot to handle and down onto the floor, tied up at 16. Cruz, Surratt had it blocked momentarily. They go back to Kylie Surratt. Soborowski sets. Anderson, now Cruz on the UT Martin side. Phillips, it is blocked by Bianca Anderson. Seventeen, sixteen. Kerrigan Fair. Jump serve, and it'll go into the net, tied up at 17. UT Martin really able to make way here. You know, they made that huge comeback and put themselves in such a great spot here at the end of this set. That one is going to be in Point Southern Indiana. Kill to Leah Coleman. Abby Weber coming in for Coleman. 18-17 in this third set. UT Martin won the first two sets by a score of 25 to 21. Valley out. Jenna Valley, usually a really strong hitter for this UT Martin team. We can see her hamstrings a little tied up, and she's got six errors for this match off of only 13 attempts. Dylan Solser in for UT Martin. Surratt off the block and down. I mean, they're setting her everywhere. They're setting her on the outside, the middle, the back. Kylie Surratt. 19-18, the assist from Katie Cruz. Now has 
15 assists in this match, but Kayla Paulino serves. So Baralski, dig by Surratt. Cruz setting up to the middle, Surratt. Played up by Moore, then hit over by Willis. Bryant the swing and the point Southern Indiana. Good defense from the Screaming Eagles. Yeah, a huge point there for them. I mean, two of UT Martin's strongest hitters going up back to back at the net with their heavy swing, putting so much power but Southern Indiana not even letting those balls over the net is huge. Cruz. Wow. And Bryant soars in for the kill, keeping UT Martin in this set 20 to 19. Kayla Bryant, now her 12th kill, 12 kills and 12 digs. Katie Cruz doing a great job of really moving her people around. Kayla Bryant coming from that back row, able to hit in the front row, making those really big transitions, hitting out of every position, really giving them both the best opportunity for success. Hey, slip. That'll go out. 21-19. Hayslip to Kayla Bryant again. Twenty-one twenty. Bryant will serve. Can UT Martin get over the hump in this third set? And an ace for Kayla Bryant ties it up at twenty-one. A timeout taken by Southern Indiana as UT Martin has now matched the score 21 all. Yeah, Southern Indiana really not having an answer for the UT Martin outside, Surratt and Bryant. They've kind of gotten full range to just really explore those angles and what they can do up at the net. 21-21, Surratt with a match high 14 kills, also six digs. Kayla Bryant, 12 kills and 12 digs. Hannah Hayslip, 23 assists and two digs. Katie Cruz, 16 assists and five digs. And Dylan Mott, 18 digs. Now for Southern Indiana, Leah Coleman, nine kills and three digs. Carly Soborowski, 28 assists, 12 digs. Kara Moore, 14 digs right now. Abby Weber with 10 digs. Jasmine Green, six kills. Bianca Anderson with six as well. Paris Downing has five and Ashby Willis with five for the Screaming Eagles. 21-21. UT Martin leading in sets 2-0, 21-21. Kayla Bryan helped UT Martin get on the scoring run in that first set whenever she was back to serve. A high one that time. Surratt in good position to help out on that one. Gladson the swing and the point. UT Martin leads. Gladson being so versatile, I mean, she has that heavy, strong power swing, but she is also, you know, making great plays. Just using like her shots and just keeping the ball in, but doing it with purpose and she's scoring. Point will remain with UT Martin. And Bailey, I think you're right too, is maybe even if you didn't think you were gonna win the challenge there, that just for your team to settle down for a moment and you slow down some momentum from the Skyhawks, maybe it could be worth it in the long run. 22-21, Bryant. 
Soborowski sets up in front, downing. Tied again at 22 this time. You go, great coach's point right there. I mean, he takes that second to really let them relax and reset, and they came out and scored the point, and that's exactly what they need and what they want right there. Serve from Ashby Willis. Hayslip comes to set that one. Surratt off the block, 23-22. 15 kills for Surratt. Twenty three twenty two Mott serving. Soborowski in the middle, downing, lofts it. Hayslip, Surratt, punched up in the air by Coleman. Comes over to Green. Bryant will pop it up. Over to Surratt. And dug out by Kiera Moore. Now into the middle, Willis, Mott the dig. Hayslip setting up for Gladson. And now Moore setting on the near side, and it is blocked, but that will be out on UT Martin, 23-23. We've been talking about, you know, UT Martin's outsides really being fired up, but Jasmine Green this set, I mean, she has just been so dominant at the net. I feel like every time that we set her, not only is it not an air, but she is really making UT Martin move. She's making the libero dive. You know, she's putting heavy, strong swings behind to really score some points. It's 23-23 in this third set between UT Martin and Southern Indiana. Skyhawks won the first meeting this season in five sets in Evansville at Screaming Eagle Arena on the first of the month. And now here, 23-23. In the third set, the Skyhawks want to complete the sweep. Would be just their second sweep of the season and the first since the home opener. In Southern Indiana, though, trying to clinch a set after getting swept in both matches over the conference weekend at Western Illinois. Yeah, such an important game for both teams. I mean, like you said, both teams really have something to fight for here and is trying to get some momentum going into this weekend. 23-23, Southern Indiana serving the end of this UT Martin timeout. Kira Moore. Hayslip, Gladson. Soborowski onto the far side, blocked, kept up though by Soborowski off the hit from Coleman. Now back to Coleman, blocked, and that one will go out. And Coach Wilson will come up to challenge this one, it appears. Coleman leading her team in kills with nine, but UT Martin having an answer for her these last few points and definitely at the end of this third set. Challenge called by UT Martin, 24-23. As they take a look at this one on the iPad now. I thought maybe she was challenging whether it was in or not, but the um, down ref giving that two signal that maybe they were calling for a double hit somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see when they that third set and you only have one air off of just about 20 attacks. I, that's really good volleyball. And then not only to put that, but you have 11 kills. So you're not just playing safe volleyball, you know, not getting those airs. I mean, she's putting the ball down and she's putting really good swings behind everything that she's got. Here comes the call. Point to UT Martin off that block. And that'll flip-flop our score. Now UT Martin 24, Southern Indiana 23. UT Martin on match point. Katie Cruz comes in to serve. A couple people starting to get on their feet. Match point, 24-23. And Cruz serves off of Coleman. Soborowski goes back to Coleman. Mott the dig. Cruz setting up. Kylie Surratt. That is game. Kylie Surratt and UT Martin sweep Southern Indiana 25-23 in the third set.
the Skyhawks their first sweep since beating Arkansas Pine Bluff 3-0 in the home opener on September 6th. A very impressive win by UT Martin Bailey. Yeah, they, they needed this. I mean, that UT Martin team, you could see their fight. Like, they really wanted this. They had already played, you know, Southern Indiana and had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, and they came out and they really executed, and that's a big thanks to the outsides, Kylie Surratt and Kayla Bryant with just an amazing game. Kayla Bryant, a double-double, 12 kills, 12 digs. Kylie Surratt with 16 kills. So for Bailey Kearns, I'm Davis Gregory saying so long from Skyhawk Fieldhouse in Martin, Tennessee.